All right, guys, what's going on? It's Mike. Welcome back to another video. And uh, what we're going to do today is I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of the uh, features of the MacBook Pro and some of the reasons why I'm uh, falling in love with this computer more and more every day. Um, one of the things that I wanted to show you guys is uh, some of the touch bar features, and I'm going to show you some of the gestures that you get with the uh, trackpad. So I'm going to slide it back a little bit so that you guys can get a better view and, uh, you know, We'll adjust the camera so basically when you uh use the macbook pro you get the touch bar now the non-touch bar version which is 2017's model uh comes with just the function keys up here but what i like about it is it's like an it's like a second touch screen for the device so uh you have your dock down here i haven't really cleaned my dock up yet too much but this is your dock that you get down here at the bottom so i'm going to start off by showing some of the gestures of the mouse pad uh trackpad so we're going to open up safari I'm going to open up a couple of tabs and we'll go to uh, Apple in one of them. We'll go to Yahoo in another one and we'll go to Google in the other one. And uh, we'll get all these to load up. So we got all these pages that load up and we'll go ahead and hover over here. Now, what I do like about the MacBook is that, uh, and I'm sure it's the same thing with Mac OS period, is that once you do, you know, uh, expand the page, it is completely filling the page. I don't have any of these options up here. You know, this is where you would uh you would hover up here to make this show up to, you know, get uh Safari extensions or to get a new private window, new window, new tab, whatever, if you don't feel like pressing the plus button. But let's just say I want to switch to another um another tab without having to go and click on it. I could easily just slide my fingers up, up, slide it up with the two two fingers, using two fingers, you scroll up and down. Now, some people have asked, how do you do, how do you function with the Mac, you know, with just a single click? Let's say I want to open up this link here for the Apple Watch. Let's say, uh, you know, it's a nice looking watch. This is the gold one. I want to, you know, I want to learn more. Uh, if I want to open this link in a new tab, two fingers, double click, open link in new tab, open link in new window, download, vice versa. You got all your different uh, menu options here. So we're going to double click, open link in the new tab. And uh, what we'll do is we'll say, let's buy it. But we'll double click and open that one in a new window. So now we have a whole new window. And if I slide from the side, you can see the screen stretches a little bit. Sliding from the side is what helps you to go back and forth. So let's just say I go look at a model. Uh, let's go look at the aluminum. So they have them down here at the bottom. So we'll click on the gold aluminum. But let's say now nah, I don't like the aluminum. I want to look at the space gray. Two fingers. I'll go back. And let's look at the space gray. And now I have the silver. So let me, let's, let's just say I look at this one and I'm like, eh, you know, I zoom in two fingers again. I zoom in and, uh, you know, let's just say that I'm just like, eh, I'm not really a fan of that. Let me go back again, silver. And I have the four to four millimeter version. So let's say I'm just looking at it and I'm like, man, I really want to check that out. Let's, let's take a look at that. Let's, let's use two fingers to navigate the screen here. And I really like that. I really like that silver one. So let's zoom that back in and let's say I want to go back to where I was. So we'll zoom it in again and I can either do another thing over here or I can leave it as it is. But now I want to go back to my other window that I had, right? Three fingers, three fingers only slide up. There's my other window. We'll click on it there and here we are. We're back. Now you can't change. You can change as well with three fingers this way. So you can slide between the different open screens. So let's say I wanted to go to the map app, okay? Maps opens up, we'll make that full screen as well. I can zoom in using the map app. I can use two fingers as well. And what it is, is you can see I'm currently in Jacksonville, Florida, uh, according to Google Maps, or not Google Maps, according to Apple Maps. And what this really does is I like the fact that this trackpad is so intuitive. It almost feels like I'm using a phone. It just it's so easy to use. It's almost like a touch screen. But let's go and we'll slide three fingers over back to Yahoo. So we have we're scrolling up. You know, we're using two fingers to scroll up. One finger doesn't do anything. So we'll use two fingers to scroll up. Now, let's say I want to switch to a different tab. Now, you see this screen right here? These are my tabs on this current window. So let's go let's go to Google, okay? And let's get ready to type something in on Google. Now, you see it gave me a few options. I'm going to type in the, uh, let's see, we'll say new version of this game. All tapped from up there. Now, it gives you different options. You know, if I click on that there, 
If I click on the keyboard, it'll close the keyboard. Uh, I'll delete all of that and I'll go back. And let's say I want to use emojis. Boom. Now I got a whole row of emojis to use. So let's just say I want to cry. What does Google say this means? Okay. So Google says it's a loudly crying emoji face. Uh, I want to go back to, I want to go back to Yahoo. So I go up here and I click on Yahoo and let's say I want to go back to the Apple store. Let's go back to Apple's website. So the touch bar is very intuitive. You can even hit that button there and it takes you to the top to look for a new window. Got all my bookmarks down here, the current ones. So let's go to Wikipedia based off of the touch bar. And you can customize all of this as well. You can even you can even get a new tab just from the touch bar. It almost eliminates the need to, you know, constantly find what you need on the screen and double click. Uh, over here, you have your command center. So you have the brightness of the screen, you can dim the screen down and everything. You also have, you can close that out. If you hit that arrow, you get your brightness, you get your desktop view. That's your apps, get your keyboard brightness. So I can adjust the brightness of the keyboard all the way down to none, or I can cut it all the way back up. I like the keyboard brightness. Uh, I get the play pause for different videos, different uh, music apps. You get the volume mute, volume down, volume up. And then you get Siri. Hey Siri, play some music from Apple Music. Playing all the songs shuffled. So we'll make sure that it's not muted. And we'll open iTunes. And, uh-oh, looks like I haven't fully signed into that. And I, I apologize, this is you know, no edit. So I thought I was logged into iTunes already, but I will log in and we'll do that in another video. But basically, just wanted to show you guys a few of the things that you get with the touch bar and the gestures of the uh, iPad Pro. Now it does have touch ID. So what I'll do is I'll close the device and uh, we'll leave it closed for a couple of seconds. And you know, one, two, three, four, five, and we'll pop it back open and got my name there. And touch ID. So I'll put my finger over here where it says unlock with touch ID. And boom, there we go. All my apps are closed, but I can go right back to where they were. So anyway, just a brief overview of the MacBook Pro. I will be doing more videos in the coming weeks on this computer. Uh, more in-depth reviews of the apps and the different ways that this differs from Windows. So make sure you hit that like button, share and subscribe. And uh if you recently switched like I, let me know how you like it so far, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.